Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and you guys are so generous with your super thanks. Holy crap, I love you so much. So thank you um, for those of you who have um, dropped those for me and Winston. So Winston's still in bed. I'm recording this at like 7.30 a.m. Um, because we are headed out on the next leg of our adventure. So we need to go back to the Phoenix Valley because my AC unit from Zero Breeze is waiting for me, as well as um, other items that I've ordered that I will share with you, all van things. Um, some necessities that, well, they're all necessities, but some of them are things I've ordered before and I had to get a couple of new things as well. So I'll be showing that that to you um, all within the next couple of days. I'm also be going to do, I'm also <laughs> going to be doing a live of the um, Zero Breeze AC unit, I'm going to open it, unbox it, just you know, to look at it, see what the components are all about and things like that, um, because that's something I'd like to get installed this week. So um, in the meantime, I have just a little bit of footage for you for um, Life at Camp Episode 5, and um, yeah, we'll be, you know, we're traversing Northern Arizona for the next five weeks or so, but we're kind of up and down um, between Flagstaff and the valley and everywhere in between. And those plans might actually change if my AC, my AC unit ends up being as effective as I hope it will be. I might be able to go some warmer places um, because I'll have that AC in my van. <laughs> so, so we'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, uh, thank you again for being here and I hope you enjoy this video. I have to tell you guys this crazy story and I'm walking through the woods while I tell you because I have to show you something. So earlier I was sitting with Winston and um, he found some bones under the tree next to us and I took a short of it so if you haven't seen it, it's up. But then we're sitting, here you come, come on Bubba. Oh, Nama. So we were sitting there and all of a sudden, after I got my short uploaded, Winston takes off running. He's running into the woods and he's huffing like, oh, oh. he sees something. And so I'm freaking out and I start running after him like, what do you see, my son? What do you see? What is it? What is it? You know, I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's an animal. So I was like... So I'm just following him and he's just running like tail up. Um, and I'm like, okay, so I, I'm just following him. So I'm, and he's like looking at me and I'm like, okay, son, you, you have something to show me. So we're walking and he's, he's moving quick. And this is, this is what he took me to. Graphic warning. Please turn away if you cannot handle seeing um, dead wild animal bones and fur. I will give you a minute to um, turn off. I won't be offended. So that's your warning. So he brought me right to this. The other parts of the elk that we found. Hooves with fur on them, a femur bone. So this is what he brought me to. He's like, hey, mom, I know you were interested. I, I, I know where the rest of the bones are. And he brought me here. Because earlier I said to Eddie, I was like, man, I wonder where the rest of the bones are from this animal. I wonder where the skull is. And Winston took me right to it. So this is the uh, forest road that Winston and I were staying on. It's fairly nice. I mean, a little bit rocky, but pretty smooth. So any rig can take advantage. Again, I know I really need to clean my windshield. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a little bit bumpy, but it's very doable. And uh, it was super easy in and out, which I always appreciate.
kiddo and I just got McDonald's. I treated myself to McDonald's this morning because there was a really, uh, there was a big black dog that ran through camp last night with an irresponsible owner, and uh, I had a panic attack. So we, uh, I figured uh, I'm really hungry because of that panic attack last night. Um, so before heading back down to Phoenix, I needed to stop and um, get something high calorie. <laughs> so, but the good news is everything's good and everybody's safe. Guys, I arrived in the valley and my, my AC unit arrived, but I would absolutely be lying to you if I wasn't concerned about the size. Hopefully it's not as big as this box because there's no way in heck that this will work for my minivan. So, um, but I still think it will. It's just the box is kind of overwhelming. So with that all being said, we made it back to the valley. We're going live tomorrow, Wednesday, May 18th. I'm not sure what time yet, so be sure to turn on your notifications so you know when I'm live. Drop that super thanks, like this video, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.